guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different than all of the other videos that I've done. So I have a bag full of trash. When I say a bag full, it's a bag full. So most of these items I started collecting probably around the end of July or August, either July or August. And those, these are the items that I finished up. I'm going to tell you what they are, did I like them, and would I repurchase them. If you want to know what's in my trash, please continue watching. I'm just going to jump right in. The first thing is these Up and Up Exfoliating Wet Cleansing Towelettes. These are pretty much makeup remover towels. And they were all right. I found them to be quite drying. And they are exfoliating, so they have those little... Um, like bumps on them and texture to exfoliate. I didn't find much exfoliation and I didn't find that they were very moisturizing. I felt like my skin was pretty dry. Would I repurchase them? Probably not. Probably not. And I got these for pretty cheap. I think they're like $1.50, but I wouldn't even repurchase it for that. No. The next item on here is Neutrogena Rapid Clear Treatment Pads. These are wonderful. I use these after I cleanse my face at night, kind of like a toner. And this is a great product. I would definitely repurchase it again. I am trying out a different brand, um, but basically the same concepts. These are great. I prefer the ones in the green tube, which is for stress acne, but these were pretty good. They are little cotton rounds and it comes with 60 pads. So if I use these every night, it should last me about two months. And I like that the products stay wet. It doesn't dry up throughout the months as months go by. The next product I'm moving through is the Echo Style Professional Styling Gel. I still have a little bit left of this. I did mostly use these to um, control the edges as well as when I do a ponytail or a bun just to slick it back. Pretty inexpensive. I think at the Dollar General, I'll pay like $1.50 or $2 tops for this. Would I repurchase it again? Yeah, I would. Probably not. This is not the item that I using right now I'm currently using a different one that has a little bit more moisture um but for on the go or if you're looking for something new to try this one is pretty good i just didn't find it like it's the best one in the whole wide world but i would repurchase it i would give it another try the next thing is my shea moisture african black soap this is what the wrapper looks like so what this basically is is like a big black bar of soap. I absolutely love this. I repurchased this over and over again. This is what really cleared up my eczema. Uh, when I moved here to the Midwest, I got here in April and I filled up with my eczema. I don't know if it was the humidity or just the change in temperature. I don't know what it was, but I, my legs were full of eczema. I was like full on, blown out, just itchy, red, we're looking really bad and this is the only thing that's cleared it for me. I purchased this again and again and I have a new one in the bath, in the, I have a new one in the shower as we speak and this one is with shea butter and it's for severely dry skin. If you do have eczema, I highly recommend that you try this soap and it says here that it is traditionally African black soap made from palm ash, tamarind extract, plantain peels has been used in Africa for centuries to treat eczema, acne, oil skin, psoriasis, and other skin ailments. This is my baby. And I'm kind of scared because I went to Target and they were all sold out. And I went to Walmart and I grabbed the last one. And I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what's going on. I haven't tried the one in liquid form. I've only used the, so the bar. And again, it's done miracles on my eczema. The next item in here is at the beach lotion from Bath and Body Works. This smells so good. It's like a coconutty scent. It smells like you're on vacation. It doesn't have like a sunscreen smell or anything. It's very fresh. I absolutely love this. I will definitely be repurchasing this again in the summer. Um, right now I have one or two um, bottles of the other of the same. I have one or two different scents that I need to finish up and then hopefully by summertime I should be done and I will definitely be picking this up again. This just smells so divine. It's so good. It's like a quick, nice little pick-me-up. I use this mostly on my hands during uh, like 
during work after I wash my hands or something like that or if I need a quick little escape from the office work I go ahead and put this on my hands and it just smells divine it moisturizes my skin I don't use it on my body my favorite body lotion I will show you it's gonna be in here because I have the next Thing I finished was this Sephora Citrus, Citrus Blush Cleanser. I used to use the Cinema Secrets Blush Cleanser like this, and I switched over to this one. It was more, less, it was more, it was less expensive or more inexpensive, and I like how it smells. I like that it has that it's natural because that other the Cinema Secrets it's very alcoholic. This one is a little bit more natural. And I like that it leaves, it has the fresh citrus oils. That's what really brought, brought this, that's what really caught my attention about this. And I already have a brand new one sitting, I have a brand new one sitting right next to all my makeup brushes so I can wash them. And I absolutely love this. It smells really, really good. I think it retails for like $8, so it's not bad. And it's lasted me since April. The next item is the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. I absolutely love this lotion. I'm currently giving it a break because I'm trying to use other products, but this one is really, really good. I highly recommend it. It was recommended to me by a good friend over in Vegas for that weather is was just super duper dry and it really helped. And I don't have dry skin, I have more combination skin, but it was my skin was going through it and this is really nice it's nice and lightweight and that's what I love the most about it and it does have hyaluronic acid once you put it on it's not um, sticky it's not too heavy where you feel like you're looking like an oil mess it seeps right on through the skin right into the skin and the makeup goes on pretty good on top of this and yes I will I'm trying something new so I'm not using this currently. The next item is this Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Scrub. Um, it was alright. I would not repurchase it. It has little microbeads that you use to exfoliate. Um, I exfoliate my skin maybe two to three times a week and this, it was alright. Um, nothing too special about it. It's not my go-to. I am still haven't found a go-to um, exfoliator. So if you know what of one, let me know so I can buy that. The next item I will have a makeup item is this Girl Lactic Black Eyeliner Pencil, and it's the felt tip. And I got this in a boxy charm, and it was really good. I really like the pointed tip. It's really really pointy, and it's nice and flexible. Um, the only issue that I had with this was that it kind of when you would pull it in, do your wing, it, you have to, it kind of would dry up in the process of doing the wing. You'd have to shake it up and then re reapply it. Will I repurchase it? Probably not. I find, I think this was like an online only buy and you can purchase other similar liners like this from the drugstore. So I probably will not repurchase this. The next item is this Dark and Lovely Au Natural Easy Twist Gel and Butter. Uh, this is the very first time that I've tried this product and it was not my favorite. Um, I kind of don't even remember how I feel about this. I've been a while since I finished it. I feel like it didn't give me enough moisture. It had a nice scent and it's one of those that it's like gel and cream and it twists around. So I like that. I feel like I needed a little bit more moisture. But other than that, it was alright. Would I repurchase it? No. And this nasty, crusty Duo Lash Glue. This is the only glue that I use for my lashes. If you are looking for a new glue to try out, I highly recommend this one. I like it mostly because it has this applicator and you can just swoop it onto your lashes. It does not pop off. Um, it dries fairly quickly and I definitely will repurchase it. I already have a new one sitting up on my makeup counter. <sighs> I feel like I need a drink. Thirsty and parched from all the talking. The next item is the Dove Style and Care Curling Mousse. This is one of my holy grail 
hair products I've been using this for about two to three years and I love how it makes my my hair feel it's very moisturizing I feel like when you get towards the end of it though it can make your hair kind of crunchy but other than that it works really good it's very inexpensive it's from Dove you can find it at your local drugstore and it's just nice and thick I hate it when mousse are drying and when they're too light and they're not nourishing like this you can feel the creaminess go into your hair and it just really good it's just really good for defining and giving the hair look like a nourished and nice and fluffy it's not too crunchy until you get to the very end of it and the next item is this secret deodorant i've talked about this in my monthly favorites i'm still using this deodorant it's really really good i love the way it smells and now that i've been going to the gym a lot more um it's come in handy and it doesn't leave that after after scent that some deodorants tend to do. This one doesn't do that. So would I repurchase? Yes, girl, I already did. The next item is this Color Vita Complex Surface Hair Health Art for Curls. It's an Entrant Mask. And this was gifted to me. Um, it was a right. I didn't feel like it did a lot of moisturizing the very first day I used it um it was actually left on as like a leave-in and I liked it that way but then my hair felt a little bit too sticky with it so then I just used it as a mask and shower mask and I didn't feel like it moisturized my hair as much so I would not purchase this the next item is whoa my favorite body butters so these are my favorite i've mentioned them in my monthly favorites these are the josie moran whipped argan oil body butter this is the only thing i use on my body it still smells delicious it's so nice and thick it's very moisturizing and it's not oily at all so i would definitely repurchase these again and again i absolutely love these as you can tell i have them all over the place <laughs> Next thing is this L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Toner. Um, this one was a new item for me and I really liked it. I'm trying something different, but I like that it wasn't, it's alcohol free so it doesn't sting your face right after you clean it. I use this in, during the day. The other toner, the one like this one, I use at night. So this is my morning toner and I like it. I would repurchase this. I would definitely repurchase this. Next item is this Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I scraped the heck out of it. I will, this is a pricey item, so I wanted to make sure I used it all up. And would I repurchase it? I already have one in my um, skincare products, but I don't know. I feel like I want to try from The Ordinary. I want to try out their products. Um, this is a lactic acid for plumping fine lines and smoothing the appearance of wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. I don't feel like my hyperpigmentation has improved. It's still the same. Um, it does plump out, plump up the skin in the morning. I feel with very nice and plump skin because I only use this during the night. But I want to try something different. I want to finish up the one I have and then try something different. And here's the lid for that. And the next item is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Skin Clear Clear Cleansing Gel. This one was really good. I definitely would repurchase it. It is a cleansing gel, so it's like a face wash. Um, I would use this with a double cleansing method. I would use this and conjunction with a different um, cleanser, either wipes and this or this and like a regular cleanser. I don't feel like on its own it took away all of the makeup, but I did like the fact that it didn't leave my skin dry or oily or filmy. It was really good. I would repurchase this. The show. The next item is the L'Oreal Revitalift Hydrating Moisturizer. I got this as sent to me from Influencer and I liked it. I really liked it. I used this during the night. I finished up the whole jar and it took me a while to finish it up. It is pretty affordable. It is drugstore, but it is a little bit on the more expensive side of drugstore, but not as expensive as like the Sunday Riley. 
I like that it has a very nice scent. I don't like that you have to dig in with your fingers to get the product out. Um, but I do like the way it made my skin look. Would I repurchase it? I think I would. I would definitely purchase this on my own. This says it's for morning and evening, smooth all over the face. Doesn't have the claims on here, but it, it was a very good um, skincare item. If you're looking for something skincare that is in the drugstore, this one's really good. All right, so next, the Surface Hair Health Art for Curl Shampoo. This and this went together, and the same, I didn't feel like it did a whole lot for my hair. I feel like it was just too drying for curls, not, not my cup of tea. Next is the Sugar Crush Body Scrub by Soap and Glory. This smells so good. Oh, it smells lemony. Um, it does kind of have a little bit of a pine soul scent. I would not repurchase the same one. I am currently using their breakfast one, their breakfast smoothie scrub. And I like the one in the pink tub. But this set is kind of has that Lysol, I'm sorry, pine soul kind of scent. And no... It doesn't, it just didn't work for me. Um, my boyfriend did really enjoy this um, for his hands, but um, not me. <laughs> so next is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is another holy girl item for me to cleanse my skin. I use these in the morning to remove any leftover residue from the night before. Um, I already have one in my shower, in my skincare items and I will definitely be repurchasing this again very soon because I'm almost out and this one the same as these I bought these two together I actually really like this spray it is it's a leave-in spray leave-in super quench leave-in spray for thirsty dehydrated hair I use this to rehydrate my curls for second day curls if I want to leave it down I am currently using a different one that I love so much more so I would not be using this one Whew. next is this Tory Burch love relentlessly perfume i got this as a sample no i got this for my points with sephora it smelled so good i would get so many compliments with this perfume and it smells really really good it has more of like a little bit mature scent but not too mature like a, it has like a boss babe kind of scent like i don't know how to describe the notes but it smells good um i it smells better on the skin than it does in the bottle. That I can tell you for sure. And this is what I mean by I scraped all of the product out of my um, good jeans. Okay, let's continue. The next item is this L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser. I got this in the green bottle, which is to detox and brighten. At first, I really liked this product. I liked the way it smelled. I liked the way it felt on the skin but the more and more i used it i realized that it does not do a good job at removing makeup and i would use this in the double cleanse method i would you first use a um more of a creamy makeup remover and then go in with this one. And I don't know if just both of those two together i feel like when i was using it with a different cleanser first it was doing a better job but then when I switched to the one I'm currently using they just didn't work well together so I would probably I would not repurchase this I would not next is this sample from Tata Harper it is the resurfacing mask this I would leave overnight it says you need to remove it um, but I would leave it on overnight and in the morning my skin was looking like brand new like just so glowy and so fresh and plump i absolutely loved it it's so pricey though and i might wait for the sephora vib sell and and purchase the full size of this it really does wonders to the skin you can notice a difference overnight you can note it i don't know if you removed it right like how it says i think it says after 10 minutes you're supposed to remove or after 30 minutes but if you leave it overnight, I don't have very sensitive skin, so it didn't irritate my skin. But when I would leave this overnight and just wake up to the most beautiful skin, it just 
wonderful looking. Um, I would definitely be purchasing the full size of this product. Another sample is this Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. Um, it was all right. I would not be purchasing the full size of this. I will not be purchasing the full size of this product. I didn't feel like I saw any noticeable difference in my skin. For that reason, I would not be purchasing it again. And next is this Herbalife Skin Firming Eye Gel. This was the only eye gel I used for most of 2000, for all of 2016 and half of 2017. And I have not purchased any other under eye cream. Um, uh. I will probably not be purchasing this again. But I am looking for a new under eye gel. If you have any rec recommendations, please put them in the description bar. I would love to know. Um, so yeah, no, I would not be purchasing it again. If you are a member of Herbalife, I completely recommend that you try this product. It works really good. It's nice and hydrating without it being too oily and it sinks right into the skin. It does not leave a filmy residue. So I do recommend this product. I just wouldn't be purchasing it again. In the next, the next product is this MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Bright Forecast. This is one of those brush tip highlighter slash concealer. It has very minimal coverage. It's mostly just a highlight. I absolutely love this for the days that I'm not wear I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, and I would repurchase it. As this I would repurchase this again I'm currently using a different one from CoverGirl that I'm testing out but this is a very good option if you're looking for one that's from Mac if you're a Mac snob like I am this one is wonderful but if you're looking for something more affordable try out the CoverGirl one or also Maybelline has a pretty good one and I think L'Oreal does too so the next item is this Pixi Overnight Glow Serum. I love this. I know I say I love this for a lot of these things, but this for real, for real, for real, this I absolutely love. I went looking for it at Target the other day and they were all sold out. It is a little pricey for drugstore. It runs for about $24 or so, um, but it's cheaper than a lot of other items that you can find at Sephora. Um, this leaves your skin, again, you put this under overnight, it does come with a dropper and it's kind of like a thicker consistency. I pat it onto the skin after it has been toned. I leave this overnight. I don't use this every night. I like to switch them out on a daily, I switch them out this. I use it every other night. All this work for nothing. Okay, I use this every other night and I think it does what it says it does. It is an overnight glow serum. So when you wake up, your skin is absolutely wonderful. It kind of does what this does, but this is cheaper, but it's not as good as this one. But it's almost the same thing. And this says use as PM, use PM as needed. And it has glycolic acid, which is what makes, kind of resurfaces your skin. So yes, I would repurchase this again if I can find it. I ended up buying, what did I buy? Oh, I ended up buying some vitamin C little droplets that I'm trying, um, but I'll let you know when I finish those up how I think, what I think about them. But these, this in conjunction with their argan oil mist. <laughs> ooh, ooh, no words. And next is this glitter shake spray on wash off. My daughter used this for Halloween. It did it had a lot of glitter. It was really nice. It was very pigmented. I wasn't expecting much. I think it was three dollars at Walmart during Halloween. I don't know if they still have it, but I know that RGK, I think is the name of the brand, has a glitter spray and it's not three dollars. It's more than three dollars. So if you're looking for like something fun, for your hair like glitter this one's really good I, this is made by the mark good mark by the brand good mark i've never heard of them before but this they have different colors this one was the rose gold it was really nice and glittery we're almost there guys 
Next is the Revlon Professional Lotus Flowers Hair Treatment. This I would use kind of like this to revive my curls and just make them give them more hydration. And I absolutely love this. I think this is a really good. It's got that milky consistency just like this one, like a creamy milky consistency. And it sprays out pretty good, nice and thick. It's not a very fine mist. This has more of a thick mist. Um, and yes, I would repurchase this again. It was a gift, so I didn't really purchase it, but I would go out and buy it myself. <sighs> well, do I like it more than the one I'm currently using? No, and I'm currently using one from Diva Curl. It's called Mr. Right, and I would not, I would choose that one over this one, but I would repurchase this if I, I mean, I would repurchase this. All right. Next is the Milani Keep It Smooth Luxe Treatment. This was a lip oil. This was good. This is good. This is good. Good, good, good. Um, I'm using something from Vaseline that I don't absolutely love, but this feels so good on the lips, and it has a nice yummy vanilla-y kind of scent. Oh, like caramel. It smells like caramel. It smells so good, and it's just nice and hot. leaves your lips nice and hydrated um yeah i would repurchase this again next is the cetaphil daily cleanser um just average i think when i was using this with this my skin was liking it um cetaphil is known for their good skincare it's very just like a basic cleanser uh, it does not do like remove your makeup you still need to do a double cleansing method and it is more of the liquidy it's not like a cream or anything it's it's good i would repurchase this again for sure okay next is this wet and wilds color icon lip gloss in the shade raised on good corals this was so cute i love this shade it was just like a nice i kept this in my van for those just quickly quickie put up quick put on some lip gloss it has a nice corally shade that's not too vibrant the gloss was perfect it was not sticky and I can't find it anymore if I were to find it I would be picking this up for sure I think it was only like two or three bucks and it was just I guess it was limited edition because I can't find it and it's so pretty so pretty okay two of the brow stylist definers um for your brows i have one in the shade dark brunette and the other one is brunette these are so good these are the tip or the actual product itself it's so nice and thin oh it's full of gunk there we go it's so nice and thin and it's just you know perfect for being very detailed with the brush hair strokes I would definitely be purchasing these again. I'm stuck on the It Cosmetics Brow Power, so I don't know. And then for, I'm stuck on that pencil, but then like today I use the Cabrow in Brunette number five and a powder. So on my very light on my very light makeup days, I go for a pencil and I'm stuck on the brow power and on the more makeup days like today, I am using other products. So I would repurchase it just not right now. Maybe once I get over the whole a cosmetics ordeal, I will purchase it again. Another cleanser is this Good Things Manuka Honey cleanser. I got this, I think, at TJ Maxx, and it was all right. It was not a stand-up product. I think it was very cheap, and that's why I picked it up. It was so gunky, so gross. Um, but I would not be purchasing this again. No. Four more things, guys, and we're done. The next is this It Cosmetics Gen Sequa Little Lip Balm. This was so cute. I love the color that it looks like on here, but it did not show up as this color on my lips. What I liked the most was that it had SPF. This is your perfect pink. It didn't come up as pink on my lips. I have very pigmented lips, so maybe that's why. I wish it would have had more color. Um, it is more on the waxy side, but it still gives pretty good 
moisture so if you're looking to splurge on a lip balm this is a good one um I'm currently using Burt's Bees lip balm and it's like a rosy pink. I prefer that one over this one, so I would not be purchasing this again. Next is the Almay Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Wah, wah, wah. This I will never, ever, ever purchase again. It did not remove my makeup. It did not remove my eyeshadow completely. I had to go in there two or three times to get it removed with the little pads it comes with 80 which i guess it's a good amount but you have to use like two or three for one eye no thank you thank you i will not be using this product again i will not be purchasing it again and i do not recommend it two more things the last one is this wet and wild gel lip liner i absolutely love this color this is in the shade Bear to Comet, and it's this color here. It's a very pretty, mauvey, rosy color, um, and it only costs like two or three bucks. I would be purchasing it again. However, if you're looking for a more stiff um, lip liner, this is not for you. This one's very creamy, so I would like to fill up my whole lip in with this versus make it specific to just outline because it's so creamy, it's so easy to blend, but at the same time, because it's so clean, creamy, it can kind of feather out towards the end. And the last item is this Laneige Moisture Cream. I love this! I got this little sample and I want to get the full size too, but I got this with the sleeping mask, the sleeping mask I don't know I don't know how I feel about it yet but this I absolutely so when I finished when I finished my set of feel I started using this and I definitely want to get the full size this is a little bit more this is thicker than the set so if you don't like thick products you won't like this one but it's not too thick to the point where the makeup slides off I could still use this underneath my makeup and I would have no issues with it and it just left the skin nice and glowy and it doesn't have like glow. it doesn't claim to do glow but it's water bank yes it's like drinking a whole glass of water for your skin completely recommend it and I want to buy the full size but I don't know I have to wait for a sale <laughs> all right I need to go get a glass of water. So that is it for my trash, my current trash that I have. Finally, I can put it in the dump. Finally, I can get rid of it. So that's it. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. It just shows me how much you love me. Before I leave, if you have not subscribed, click on this little face right there. And if you want to keep on watching some of my other videos, here and here are a few recommendations for you guys. Love you guys.